On my left, uh, Ashish Somaya. He is the Chief Executive Officer of White Oak Capital Asset Management. Uh, Ashish, se to khair, kafi baate hoti rehti hai meri. And uh, Mr. Hitesh Zaveri, again, I am meeting you for the first time. Uh, he is uh, the Senior Vice President, Head of Listed Equity Alternatives at Access Asset Management. And uh, Mr. Saroop Mohanty is the CEO of Mere Asset uh, Investment Managers. Uh, so uh, let's start then. Uh, obviously, uh, we have about uh, 28 minutes and 40 seconds, so we'll try to wrap up uh, in this uh, in this time frame. Uh, Nidesh Bhai, the first question is that, and I'll keep, try to keep it bilingual, that uh, in this age, in this uh, day and age, mein, uh, financial literacy is so important? Hai? Ben, it is very important, Anuj Bhai. In our Sanskrit, we say that money doesn't matter and don't go behind the money. Gujarati mein kehte hai, paisa hath no mail chhe. Hmm. But I have always liked what Warren Buffett said, money is not everything in life, money is not important, but make sure that you have made enough money before you make such statement. Jab jeb mein paisa ho na, Anuj bhai, to bhoat sari muskil hai, face kar sakte ho, asani se. Aur jeb mein paisa nahi ho, to sari muskil hai, aa jati hai. Ek statement, uh, we, men, Lish bhai ke saath ek podcast kiya tha, in that uh, you made this uh, Gujarati kahavat, uh, was kafe related. Ek bajara, yaan, sunati jaya uske meaning ke saath. So, jeb mein paisa ho, to aap set Nathalal keke bulaya jata hai. Or nahi ho, to sab yehi bolenge, Nathya idhar kar, Nathya wo kar. To family bhi respect tab deti hai, jab jeb mein paisa ho. So, please give due, due respect to money. Bilkul. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, Ashish, you want to add something to this, uh, to what uh, Nilesh has said uh, in this D and age? How, how do you sort of, uh, of, co of course, this uh, this this SEBI, uh, which is uh, obviously asked uh, mutual funds to spend a lot on financial literacy. Mutual funds themselves are doing a lot, uh, but do you want to add something? See, I think that uh, the whole you know digital interfaces and digital platforms they definitely make. Uh, spreading literacy and communicating that much easier mm. but at the same time it also complicates right because uh, in the old-fashioned way uh, there were fewer people communicating and there were fewer modes of communicating today if you ask me uh, digital platforms are a great tool for spreading literacy but then it also results in a lot of crossfire and it also results in a lot of unfounded information like you said that you know say for example the regulator is telling us to educate the masses but then at the same time, uh, you know, there is this whole uh, controversy and fiasco about some not so qualified people also trying to mm. educate and influence uh, investors. So I think for investors and for the ecosystem, it's a boon to have all the digital, uh, you know, tools. But at the same time, uh, it uh, does complicate and one needs to be very careful in terms of how uh, things are conducted. Mm. Okay. Uh, Bhargavi, uh, I want you to come in on this uh, with the kind of... Uh, influencers who are coming in uh, uh, and a lot of them are not registered with SEBI also. Uh, so obviously there's a bit of a, you know, you may call it advantage that some of these people have. Uh, but uh, how are mutual funds dealing with this phenomenon where, you know, all these unregistered influencers are, and they're quite popular on Instagram. Some of them have, uh, you know, a million followers, two million followers. Uh, I mean, sometimes I worry, you know, I wonder that, you know, I've spent 20 years in the industry and I have like, you know, 10% of their following. Uh, what exactly have these guys done? But they're popular at the end of the day. So, your, your view. Um, firstly, I think, uh, thank you for having me here and it's great to be part of the panel and good morning everyone. Uh, the Finfluencers exist because in traditional financial organizations and setups, we left a gap. Uh, by the time our paper and our communication clears legal compliance product and reaches the customer through the right media channels that's aligned to our brand personality, the customer's already bored and has left. Right? We're not talking to them the way they want to be reached. So they exist, uh, and I have, um, we're in the process of finalizing some of our go-to-market, so I've seen a lot of their videos to shortlist uh, some of them. I, I have to, I mean, I dare say I'm far more familiar now than I was three months ago with their content. Some of them are extremely accurate prescient in what they say and uh, also fairly responsible. Mm. Um, and of course the stock trading or the crypto ones anyway I skip because they don't suit our brand. Uh, so perhaps uh, I'm also more familiar with the more responsible sort of influences. And the SEBI consultation paper clearly delineates. Uh, the SEBI chairperson in uh, 
uh, in the media interview said we have no problems if people are educating uh, right but they are separating those who are educating versus those who are probably speculating mm -hmm. and in every industry see ri has also got put, get pulled up mutual fund distributors could do wrong so i think in every industry it's time to separate the wheat from the chaff it's tougher for the customer especially if it's unregulated but i think the mm -hmm. consultation paper sets good direction recognizes them as a category uh, and i think it will evolve in the years to come mm. uh, swarup so, uh, what's your view because you know you have of course mutual fund uh, distributors right which is a category in itself uh, are we reaching a stage where finfluencers is going to be one category are mutual funds going to for example you know have a set of five or six finfluencers because i mean let's be honest about it uh, you know they are popular and what they're saying people are doing so at the end of the day Uh, you know, while a distributor might get you, uh, you know, some uh, investors, if a influencer is getting it done, uh, then you know there's temptation to go for that. Uh, what's your view? No, no, uh, thank you so much for having me. First of all, I think the digital world is a very different world from our erstwhile communication process, as Bharvi rightly right pointed, and it follows you. Today morning, I was thinking, "Ki kya, ma kya bolu?" My phone prompted that you know I spent five hours, twenty-three minutes a day on the phone. Yeah. Mine right. was seven hours. Yeah, so five hours, twenty-three <laughs> minutes. That is where I need to communicate. And and incidentally, I thought I was on Twitter, but my Instagram was more than Twitter. Is what my phone told me. So I am an addict at my age of Instagram Reels, which people believe the young are. So obviously, people who communicate there will have a far better reach than people who don't communicate there. the language there is very different in our office one a, a, a colleague of mine did a small video of of how to spend the first salary young girl mm. did a small video in plain hindi got 6 and a half million views mm. something yes. which we can't get anywhere else that's the reality and and that's where when we communicate of course financial literacy nilesh bhai in your part of the world people had money i come from the east the reason we were told money was bad the reality was we didn't have money so you create this whole thing that you know money is bad uh, but the fact that you need money and the fact that we are getting into an era where we don't have pension is up to us to realize the kind of money we will need when we don't have income or active income and that need has to start first before we get into mutual funds wo need aa jaye to itna baat karna nahi padega the problem is there so if it's the influencer and there'll be laws behind that wherever there is a fiduciary role there has to be a, a, a legal part of it so all that will fall into place but i do agree that a fair amount of that influence will happen online and it should happen that's the media we well, absolutely all of us are using our phones so much as you said 5 uh, hours 6 hours 7 hours uh, uh, by the way anyone using phone right now here i have a simple rule if your phone rings i'm going to take it and i'm going to auction it to the lowest bidder so just keep that in mind okay so uh, you know uh, just uh, let's finish this topic after that i have another interesting topic and uh, hitesh you want to weigh in on this especially now that sebi is also you know there's a lot of discussion on whether these influencers should be registered with sebi or not first of all uh, whether they should be uh, sebi is very clear that you know unless you are paying them there's nothing that you know uh, we, we we can do i mean at the end of the day we can uh, you know if you're paying them then you have to be sebi registered but you know what these influencers are essentially doing is that you know their their revenue model is something different you know they get paid because their videos go viral at the end of the day and you know i am not paying them i i might be getting influenced by what they're saying but i'm not paying them and tomorrow they might come and recommend any mutual fund or any stock but at the end of the day i'm not paying them so how do you deal with that no a uh, quite of you know different interpretation of that uh, defense can be taken but i think maybe the the right way to look at it is that uh, let's say for example a, a, a one or a few in reality many videos go viral that have in a manner speaking misinformation about financial services and so on and you are making money of it and it turns out you know as i said that there are people who have been doing that so it's it's very uh, as it is the reality is that the financial literacy in country and by the way around the world is low um okay i am the one who's <laughs> the culprit here sorry I, can i bid <laughs> yes please so uh so so financial literacy so by the way you know i was just reminded of the the uh, financial literacy survey that charles schwab does every year um and um, number one fear they said of the parents of high school going children 
number one fear that they had ahead of anything else in the US was that the children will not be financially literate, which was really shocking when, when I saw verses. By the way, this was ahead of you know, many of the other bad habits that they worry that kids will get. Financial influencers, what we are doing here, at least at, at least in Access Mutual Fund, is that we are uh, engaging with financial influence who are you know, vetted, who are good, who, do, who are doing the right things. Um, and I think that is the way to go. That's the way to go is to kind of uh, uh, promote the right behavior and then mm -hmm. obviously actively discourage uh, because the potential is of harm is also very high. Okay. Uh